Hello everyone, this is Starfleet 65 and today I will be bringing you a review of uh, the modifications that I came up for the Blitzwing mold. Well, they are meant for double dealer, which I shall hopefully have a review up shortly in a few weeks after it comes in the mail. So the first modification is uh, miss missile. missile. Yeah, I mean, just my Blitzwing's uh, hips are really loose. Good luck to do this. Okay, well, I guess I can show you how it's put together. First off, because of my asthma, I take polar Uh There's another piece that goes inside of here. I take that out to make it a bit lighter so it doesn't tip over. And because I moved him, he did tip over. Uh, but it's hollow, and I think it matches a double duper color. Honestly, it's white and it's uh, had some purple on it. And. These pieces up here are all from Meltdown. Transform or not excuse me. Lego Hero Factory uh Meltdown. That was his launcher here on his uh left hand. Or claw. Uh so I don't think he'll mind uh, being deprived of that. He just sits on a shelf anyhow. So to get this in here, you just fr via friction, it's very, this is a very tight fit, and these two pieces here will just hold this in place once I get it in here. There we are. And, uh, I did what I could with it. His left, or his right arm, uh, his pivotability is kind of hindered there, or the unless uh, will move. Um, it does make them a bit front heavy, although we actually tipped over this way, so maybe not. Uh, and it doesn't, like, it's not very balanced. Most of the missile hangs off the front here. Most of the shoulder isn't covered by it. Uh, I think it'll work better on Double Dealer, though. Now, to take it off of him, uh, take this piece off first. Like so, so one's that upside. And then just, well, let's see. I'm going to, I don't want to show up on camera. I'm going to unpeg this piece here, set it down, and then take this piece and bring it out. It's a bit of a tight fit, and it took a little bit of an angling to get it in. You kind of have to unpeg the entire shorter assembly. Not that, that really pegs in as it is. Haha. -ha. Um, these grooves help it, help this piece lock in to a certain degree. I haven't noticed any stress marks when doing this yet. Uh, so. I'm very fortunate on that account. Uh, okay. Just a moment. Yeah, so this blitz wing here, um, this is his, um, uh, missile. Or what will be double dealer missile. Um, you could make it without having meltdown. I believe the, uh, first Legos to have these pieces were the, the, uh, Glatorian for my onical. And the big of the piece was like this. That it launched via friction a, uh, a sphere. Um, so it's just, it's, uh, one of these long, I don't know, uh, plus or cross pieces with a knob on the end of it, two of these launcher pieces and one of these, uh, gray pieces and one of these black pieces. I haven't bought a Lego in a long time, so I'm not really sure what they're called anymore. And basically what I do then is, let's see, how do I have this? Like this, okay. And then I take this and I tab this in like this so the missile can rotate like this if it wanted to and then just take this via friction and just pop it in there like so and there you got it and it'll just you know slot down in there we show this uh, mod off 
in his tank mode, which I think would make a lot more sense for versus his uh, jet mode. Let's get in there. So I'll just do this off camera, as I not bore as to not bore you in, so I can get it done quicker. Hopefully it won't take more than a minute or so. I'm quicker when I'm off camera. In case you've already noticed, I'm a big fan of this mold. I'm really glad we finally got a graphics split screen to go with the uh, the tank ore and the uh, or octane and astrotrain. And Although the shoulder problem is the downside, it isn't a huge downside for me, and I'm really not particularly bothered by it. So, and I know like one of the biggest problems that uh, people have had with double deal is that he has no shoulder muscle if he's just to remold, or he to repaint with a new head. I'm not really sure that complicated the remold. If you want to remold, look at Sandstorm and uh, Springer. Um, if not, oh, or let alone all new toys for them. Uh, let's see. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I will not uh, waste time trying to plug his uh, legs and his treads because I have a pain. In, it's a pain in the butt for me to uh, do that. Okay, almost there, folks. Sorry. Okay. Because I'm lazy, and I, I'm sure you're losing your patience, I'm just going to say this is his tank mode. Okay. Put it all over the camera. Okay, so, yes, not early to take mode, but, um, to be honest, I haven't actually worked out a way for this to work, um, but, what I would propose, let's see, I gotta get his, um, his, his actual weapons, and, perhaps, like, keep the tank cannon there, and slot that up there like that. Just have it sit in there via friction. I think that works. Uh, or, I mean, you could stick it up the barrel, which doesn't stay. So, I guess if you want to apply it in this mode, you can do that. And I guess you can do the same thing in, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, jet mode, Miss Nibby. Alright, so now to show off my uh, other mod, it does not use any extra pieces. Although, you could attach a missile to it. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about, I think this is the biggest complaint, is that uh, the new double dealer does not have a bird mode. And I've heard that there could be a bird mode, uh, but I haven't actually seen one yet. So I tried it out myself after thinking about it for a while, and I think I've got a pretty nifty bird mode out of this toy. Um, so, let's see. First, just bring the legs down like so. Then you want to like so, and leave the tank cannon right where it is. You want to come back here to the jet cockpit. You want to bring it down. And you want to peg it in down here, like so. Uh, it's kind of really hard to do on camera because these are already large. Um, bring this beast. Let's see. I transformed him from robot mode before, so this is a bit more difficult. You want the shoulder assembly to be in the same position to be in robot mode and swing this down. 
swing this over and then bend the leg like so this will become the hind legs or the bird's legs because birds don't have two sets of legs okay but then come on okay so you got that then you want to take these and you want to swing them up you want to rotate them so the wings are pointing out rotate the foot rotate the tail thing like so and extend the wing all the way out until it tabs outward then the other side rotate it rotate rotate again And then, let's see, trying to bring the legs up like so. He was balancing better earlier today, I'm not sure why he is failing to cooperate with me today, but this might be it, I didn't lock something incorrectly. Okay. Not that a lot of this mode actually locks in. Okay. Okay, this isn't making any sense. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I was able to get them to actually stand upright and not be so squatty for later, and I don't know how I did that. Oh, I get it. I didn't uh, extend his arms back out from tank mode. Like how they were in robot mode. I didn't. I forgot to do that. That would make them taller which makes them look better, and so on. Just a minute. This video has been a lot longer than I ever intended it to be, so I do apologize. And I hope this is worth your while if you're watching this. So I was quite excited when I uh, found this out, or when I figured this out. And I promise you I have not seen anything, so I didn't get this from someone else. Uh, this is all my own idea. Okay. Oh, that's a bit better. You got, well, uh, these are the ones that, these are the joints that, the, need, the elbow joints are the ones that need, there we are. Nope. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just, I don't feel like finagling with him anymore. I don't know why he isn't doing what I want him to do, like he's earlier. Um. Because everything's going loose on him today. Okay. There we are. So. These would be like the bird legs, these would be the wings, which I mean if you wanted to you could pull them out, you know, like so. Although I think it's better just to keep them up here. And then, as uh, you all know, the Double Dealer has painted on the nose cone, this piece, this piece here, so from the cockpit, uh, eyes on both sides and like shark teeth. The home eyes to the bird. And if this is on a separate joint, you could use this as the actual bird head, and this is just part of the neck or the torso of the body. So, something a little bit like this would be his bird mode. And I think that looks pretty cool. I'm satisfied with it, and in my opinion, double deal or not with the bird mode. Um, as far as his weapon goes, I mean, now you could stick it up here. If you wanted to. I know on the original oops, double deal toy, uh, the missile split into two uh, pieces, a gun, which I guess you just want to consider it to be a gun, and uh, there's a pod that went on his shoulder. I can't really replicate that. I mean, I could try to get it to slide underneath here, because one went underneath here. Because there's a big gap down there, but it's not large enough for this to fit. 
Oh, if I somehow get this to suspend, which I don't think I'll be able to. Well, yeah, anyhow, this has been the uh, video review of uh, medication for the Buttswing Mold, a, a plain mode, or a burr mode for uh, the Buttswing Mold double door and a missile for double door. Thank you all very much for watching, and I thank you for hopefully not losing your patience on me. Take care.